Hello and welcome to GSC at Home. My name is Saba and today we'll be making some invisible ink to write secret messages. Have you ever wanted to be like a spy or secret agent and leave secret messages? Secret agents have been around for thousands of years. Egyptian hieroglyphics show that pharaohs employ people as secret agents. Secret agents are really important, especially during war. In World War II, secret agents played a key role in getting information about where the enemy planned to attack or any new weapons that they had invented. If a secret agent could get a hold of the secret information, it could save lots and lots of lives. They used secret messages to pass on this information that they had gathered. You don't need anything sophisticated or really high tech to make your own secret messages. In fact, you can do this by making your own invisible ink using lemons. For the experiment, we're going to need a bowl, a lemon, some cotton buds, white paper, and an iron as well as adult supervision. To start with, get your adult to cut your lemon in half and squeeze the lemon into a bowl to get all the juice out into the bowl. Now, we're gonna use a cotton bud to write our secret message. What message will you write? I'm gonna go ahead and dip my cotton bud in the lemon juice and write my secret message. Mine is a really important message. So, I'm just gonna pop it down onto the piece of paper. Make sure to use lots of ink, but not too much that you soak the paper. So now that I've got a message down on the paper, I'm going to leave the paper to dry so that the ink is completely invisible. Now that our message is completely dry and the ink is invisible, we are going to slightly heat up our piece of paper. And in order to do this, you need an adult's help. You need an adult to iron your paper. So I'm going to start by turning my iron on and heating the paper up. So really carefully, make sure you're doing it very, very carefully. Just iron your paper. Now this is going to take quite a while. So I'm just going to iron the paper up. Now let's have a look and see what's happened. Wow, what's happened to your secret message? Mine has turned brown and the message is coming through. It says, surprise, party and garden at 6 p.m. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. So, how were we able to use lemon juice to create secret messages? Well, lemon juice contains the element carbon. Carbon is one of the most common elements from the periodic table and is found in all living things, like lemon trees and humans as well. In lemon juice, carbon is joined together with other elements to form carbon compounds. These carbon compounds in lemon juice are pretty much colourless at room temperature. When lemon juice is heated, the heat breaks down these compounds and releases the carbon. If the carbon comes in contact with the air, a process called oxidation takes place. Oxidation is a process where the molecules in the juice react with the oxygen in the air and one effect of which is to turn the juice a brown colour. Oxidation doesn't always need extra heat to take place. Some fruits and vegetables, like chopped apples or potato slices for example, turn brown from oxidation when you leave them out in the counter for too long. Once dry, lemon juice makes it very hard to notice that there is a secret message on your paper. No one will be able to tell until the paper is heated up and the secret message can be seen. Some other substances that should work in the same way include orange juice, honey, milk, onion juice and vinegar. Also, if you want to be super secret, you can write a boring old message or draw a picture on the paper with a pencil after you write your secret message and this should disguise it even further. Thanks for tuning in to GSC at Home. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try our very best to answer them. If you try this at home, please share your pictures with us on our social media. We would love to see them. Also, why not try with some of the other liquids that were mentioned in the video? or try some of your own as well and let us know how you get along. See you next time.